Grab a mop, there's gonna be guts on the ceiling. Why does PlayStation use CDs instead of cartridges? Because studies show when the urge to play strikes, CDs deliver more of the ingredient doctors recommend most. Games. A typical cartridge holds 12 megabytes uncompressed. A CD holds 650 megabytes uncompressed. The result? CDs hold hundreds of megabytes, over 50 times the data, of extra game levels and full motion video for longer, more lasting game satisfaction. CDs sound better for the same reason. In a cartridge, all sound must be generated by a sound chip. A CD system can stream audio directly to the TV, as well as use the sound chip. The result? More sounds can reach your ear at once, for richer music and more gripping effects. You feel better, faster. Cartridges take months to duplicate. CDs can be duplicated in a day. That's why more developers are switching from cartridge to CD. You get hundreds of titles to choose from. CDs for longer lasting, better sounding, easier on the budget gaming relief. The choice of more gamers and developers worldwide. Not to be taken internally. How is a PlayStation character created? Good question. PlayStation Underground takes you behind the scenes to look at the upcoming Spawn game, where a comic book image of the character Overkill serves as a model. First a sketch is made to plan the number of polygons to be used for each section. Polygons are the building blocks of 3D. A designer plans their use carefully to achieve maximum effect. Then a wireframe is created using the polygon scheme planned earlier. Now it's time for texture mapping. You're looking at a wireframe for the character Redeemer, also from Spawn. A texture has been created for each section of the body. It's carefully mapped to the wireframe. Next, a skeleton is added. It'll be the foundation for movement. Finally, it's time to render the character and see it for the first time in 3D. Characters in Spawn move with the aid of motion capture. This means a real human being's motion has been recorded by computer, then transferred to the 3D character. The result is lifelike action. And that's a quick look at how a PlayStation character is created. Uh, 
In August of 95, one of the U.S.'s largest CG conventions, SIGGRAPH, was held in L.A. At that time, we were not sure what the next generation RPG game should look like. So, as an experiment, we created a CG-based, game-like interactive demo to present at the show. It focused on battle scenes that were 100% real-time and polygon-based. This became the seed of Final Fantasy VII, and it was then that we decided to make this a CG-based game. When we discussed designing the field scenes as illustration or CG-based, we came up with the idea to eliminate the connection between the movies and the fields. Without using blackout at all and maintaining the quality at the same time, we would make the movie stop at one cut and make the characters move around on it. We tried to make it controllable even during movies. As a result of using a lot of motion data plus CG effects in still images, it turned out to be a mega capacity game, and therefore we had to choose the CD-ROM as our media. In other words, we became too aggressive and got ourselves into trouble. A larger developing team will not always create a better game. But when a project moves on to a scale such as this, you get to spend a lot of money and work with a highly qualified staff. We were able to use many high-end machines and work with a staff of approximately 100. And I believe this was one of the largest game development teams in history. As a result, the final game generates a tremendous amount of energy. My theory is this. If one person creates a game, it can be a racing game or anything, or ten people create the same game, the one created by ten people will be much richer in scope. There's a larger pool of resources to draw from, and each person is able to put passion into his role, creating a greater sense of depth. It is easy to get emotionally involved with both films and games, although in different ways. Adding certain interactive aspects to films, however, I believe that players can get further into them, even become one with the visual images. I have always emphasized visual and sound effects because rather than making my games equivalent to films, I want my games to surpass films. That is my goal. Without changing the basic gameplay, the visual and sound effects have been significantly enhanced, further drawing the player's emotions into the game. One-way RPGs force too many images and too much sound on the players, robbing them of the feel of control. In order to avoid those responses, we did extensive research during Final Fantasy V and VI on how to make the players feel interactively involved in the game while upgrading the visual and sound effects. The results of this research are reflected in Final Fantasy VII. When we were creating Final Fantasy III, my mother passed away. And ever since, I have been thinking about the theme, life. Life exists in many things. And I was curious about what would happen if I attempted to analyze life in a mathematical and logical way. Maybe this was my approach in overcoming the grief I was experiencing. This is the first time in the series that this particular theme actually appears in the game itself. See if you can spot it. I have been working with him since Final Fantasy V. When he joined Square, he told me he initially wanted to become a film director, but that he thought this would be impossible in Japan. 
The previous versions of Final Fantasy could be called puppet shows compared to this one. It's a real film requiring innovative effects and various camera angles. His experience studying cinematography and making his own films has contributed a lot to the making of the game. He is the director of this game. Ready and action. From Sony Space... From... <coughs> From Sony's PlayStation. I thought that. From Sony's PlayStation comes the greatest hits. All your fav... From Sony's... I'm cut. I'm sorry. All your old favorites. Like the soft sounds of... S s s s s and the gentle crack of Sophia's whip. Even the hilarious antics of Sweet Tooth, that marvelous clown. And all for just tumpteen. Like the soft sounds of swarming missiles. <laughs> That's right. The PlayStation's a mere 149. You can also get lead figure. You can also get leading titles. Like Crash Bandicoot and Jet Moto. Moto. The PlayStation is a mere $149. And the... You can also get leading... Li but wait. There's more? Oh, I'm cutting. Sorry. That's right. The PlayStation is a mere $149. You can get other leading... Oh, no, I... I okay. And you can also get... Listen. And you can also get leading titles. Like Crash... You can also get leading titles. Like Brash Mandicoot Earth. It's a party! <laughs> just a couple of hours, you're going to play against some of the finest athletes in the world. You're a member of the Washington Bullets. How do you prepare yourself, physically and mentally? You look for that extra edge, that sharp focus where everything flows and the shots just fall. Uh. <laughs> just fall, Weber. The players will keep looking for that edge back at the hotel with NBA Shootout 97. What's going on? What y'all doing, man? Hello, sir. Can I play? Come on, come on. Shoot it. No good. Oh, man. 
they continue to work as a team. Time out, man. Time. I'm not doing so good. You're not gonna make a substitution, man. I see you guys got me passing too much on him, man. <laughs> This is a close game right here, baby. <laughs> it throws up a brick. Can I play? <laughs> no, Jerry. Next game. I'm going to tell my mom. Today's matchup will be the Houston Rockets and the Washington Bulls. I'm playing down to my level of competition now. <laughs> <laughs> the NBA and NBA Shootout 97. Same game. Same players. And he makes the shot. Oh, no. Oh, Dick, you gotta be able to hit that in the game time, baby. This game. Ref, man, the referee. Good game, baby. <sighs> Get you underground. <laughs> Can I play? No, Can sir. You know that great video game you've been carrying around in your head? Only one gaming system offers the opportunity to make games and build skills to become a hot developer. NetEurose is a radical new development system that lets you create your own games for the PlayStation. All you need is 750 bucks and the programming know-how. For years, video games have been driven by, you know, the hit in the garage. Now, in the last couple years, uh, production costs have risen so much that people can no longer really afford to make a video game in their garage until now with NetEurosa. Now, for 750 bucks, Joe Schmo in, you know, Iowa can make just as good a game as Electronic Arts if he has the skills. I think you're going to see a lot of games developed through the NetEurosa program that end up as PlayStation games in a couple years and you're going to end up with the PlayStation having a much deeper and broader library than, than some of the other systems that don't have something like this. Our vision for the Net Eurose program is to establish a new creative community of home enthusiast software developers on the PlayStation. The creative community, which is the essence of the Net Eurose program, is vested on a website which we will be running where all of the members of the Net Eurose community will join together in this virtual world and virtual community to share ideas and inspire each other to create newer and more exciting forms of game entertainment on the PlayStation. I think the Net Eurose is a wonderful way for someone to get into our industry because I get so many letters every day from kids trying to find a way to convince me that they're the perfect guy for me. And to, to be honest, the best thing they could possibly do is send a demonstration. And this system allows them to actually make a demonstration of their talent. The Net Eurose PlayStation plugs into the serial port of the member's PC. And the member uses the PC to compile their code do their all of their graphic editing, all of their audio editing, compile the game, download it into the black PlayStation. They can play the game, test the game, debug the game uh, remotely from the PC. When they're happy with it, they can send the executable up to the Net Eurose member website so that they can share it with other members. All members need to do to register is contact our website at www.scea.sony.com slash net and click on the how do I join button. I'm going to be looking very closely at the NetEurose site. I'll be downloading the demos. I'm getting myself a system for home. So you betcha I'm going to be watching for a spark of talent and, and when they appear, I'll be sending them an email. PlayStation offers the strongest games in every genre, and role-playing games are no exception. With the recent release of Wild Arms and the September release of Final Fantasy VII, PlayStation is becoming the platform of choice for next-generation RPGs, with games produced for the PlayStation console transforming the RPG experience. Role-playing games in general will give you great stories, great characters, great challenges, and great things to discover. What the next-generation is, gaming is doing is uh, letting you see the world, letting you feel the world. It's very much in your face and you're in it 
versus thinking about it. Role playing games in the past were really story driven and uh, you didn't really pay much attention to the graphics of the games because they weren't very detailed. But nowadays it's more like a movie where you're really, the graphic aspect and the vision is really what's bringing you into the game. The CD-ROM format makes this movie experience possible. The extra memory really allows for the developer to put all he's got into the game and really develop the world, develop the characters, develop the storyline to its maximum potential without having to worry about the space limitations of the cartridge. The differences between the 16-bit and CD-ROM formats are especially apparent during battle sequences. On well, the uh, opening sequence of Final Fantasy III, you really get to see some of the limits of the 16-bit medium. By its a single force perspective in which basically the whole game's played through. With the 3D combat system in Wild Arms for the PlayStation, it really adds to the combat by uh, showing different angles of the attacks, showing a top view when you go in and strike at the opponent, or a, a farther away view as you cast a spell on a monster, and it really adds to the feeling of being there and taking place in life and death struggle. Before you were looking at these small 8-bit sprites and you're trying to identify with that character while now it's the graphics have really brought it up to uh, something you can identify with. The characters are much more realistic. Wild Arms sold more than 260,000 copies in its first two weeks of release in Japan. Game Fan Magazine calls it one of the most riveting RPGs of the year. And Squaresoft's upcoming Final Fantasy VII also breaks new ground. It's already Japan's fastest moving RPG ever selling 1.8 million copies in its first weekend alone. Next generation RPGs. The capacity of CD-ROMs lets them be movies that you feel, not just novels that you read. If you thought you knew RPGs, it's time to look again.